Okay, the women of today are still acting like, and I mean women, parents, mothers. And yes, that's dangerous terminology because the liberals in the colleges, uh, mostly women, are redefining our terms uh, just like someone I, I had as a professor in college. Before we could communicate, we must define our terms. No, you're redefining our terms, lady. And that was back in the uh, mid-90s, let me tell you. And so now we have mothers with families married to husbands where the these women who are seeing what's going on in the political spectrum, even though they don't really want to be a part of it whatsoever, are too afraid to discipline their own kids, are too afraid and try to kind of, I, I want to say a certain word that used to be very common and is not vulgar in any means, prevaricating about the bush, uh, we'll, we'll say, uh, about disciplining kids. Sometimes the women will have to get a little rough because they don't want the men to do it. They don't want their husband. We can't be too hard on our kids. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't say that. Oh, no, no. Don't go into the room night right now because excuse, excuse. Oh, don't tell them right because they're excuse, excuse, excuse. They're given every excuse under the sun for the men not to be a father. They're, they are taking out the rug from under us as fathers. And the best thing I can think of that is, is communicating with your significant, with your spouse, with your wife and say, hey, this isn't working. Something's wrong. Can we not see this? And uh, sometimes the women who can be a little over emotional than, than men, hmm, maybe there's a difference there. And, uh, can Once they start seeing that they might be the issue, they might break down. They might need comfort. They may not need the comfort to actually realize, oh my gosh, what have I done to us? What have I done to, uh, to our kids? But we still need to be supportive of our wives um, in that regard and not just let them fall down into that pit of despair either uh, and still be supportive. But it's hard to be supportive when your wife is not supporting you. Um, and I'm not just talking to me. I'm talking to everybody as well. So in all these relationships, these mother-father relationships between a man and a woman, and hopefully a, a Christian household, is that, like I said, that bridge has sailed as far as burning the burning the burning the bra bridge kind of thing. Uh, but they're still th in that mindset. They still want to be progressive. They don't want to go back to sexism and all that mess, which it it's like because we have redefined the term sexism and redefined other certain terms to meet today's standards of society because society is in, in uh, societal constructs and blah, 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 blah. I'm so intelligent and more intelligent than you because I'm the teenager with the phone in my hand. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, really, it's, 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 it's gotten to the point where we have lost the war of the sexes, guys. Somehow we've got to gird our loins, hoist up our, our our jeans and go and try to take charge again best as we can, which is not going to be easy to do because, yeah, you're we're going to step on some toes somehow. And I've had to say a few things to my wife as well, because we uh, try not to get too personal here, but we are breaking our kids in a sense. And uh, when you can't say no to your kids and you want to be friends with your kids and be lenient, oh, we can't say this. We can't do that. We can't say that word under this house. We can't say this word. And, and then uh, next thing you know, the conversation is stifled. The discipline is stifled. And your kids are going to run all over you. Catch them while they're young. Catch uh, to get them to understand to respect you. To re that that the parent is meant to be respected. The parents brought you into this world, and as 
one of my parents once used to say, I brought you in this world, I could take you out of it. Um, I mean, they didn't mean it literally, or I wouldn't still be here now, would I? So, things we've got to bring back, things we have to remember, guys. Don't forget your own upbringing. We are reared in certain ways because the 90s were very, they were fun, but they were not good politically or with raising families. Because people were too, started getting too afraid about disciplining their own kids. I saw it with my own eyes. Not in my own home because I was already in my 20s at that point. But, yeah. Start your kids' discipline at a young age. Uh, or your kids are going to have problems. Your kids need to get used to being disciplined, not abused. Being talked to, not talked down to. And making sure they are following instructions and following what you ask them to do in that as you follow through with the own duties and chores that need to be done around the house, you and your wife, that make sure the kids are doing the same thing or they're going to turn lazy. They're going to go onto their phones and go to the internet. Well, the, the WebMD says I'm a this. My label is this, so therefore I can't do this, and so you can't tell me what to do. And all this kind of mess. Because teenagers are going to be are, are smarter than what we give them credit for because they are smart. They will remember things better than you can remember them because we are getting older. And we can't just stay on our phones looking up medical terms and labels and all of this and, and symptoms over and over like some of these kids do, especially the hypochondriacs. And so, you know, while some symptoms are real and can be actual issues, at the same time, there are some that they may be reading a little more into it just to try to get attention to say, Hmm, all these people online, the victimhood mentality. Oh, I want to be a part of that. Oh, I have a headache. What does this mean? See where I'm talking about? They want to be a victim. They, they think they're not getting attention from their parent or parents or whatever. And because of, I was just listening to, to, to Ben, and he was talking about how a lot of these teenagers are, are saying how they are disrespecting their elders and have no respect uh, uh, for experience because they think they know it all, et cetera, et cetera, uh, because they are not being taught properly. And there is some truth in that as well. And th th this is all together. We've got to keep the family base uh, together. Satan is bringing it, bringing it down. It's bringing us down. Uh, there is a true paganization of our country at work here. We have to stand firm. And guys, don't be afraid if they call you sexist. Don't be afraid to assert and make some decisions that may need to be made. Uh, despite however, as other people may wallow in, de in, in being depressed and not doing a darn thing to help you around the house. Hopefully y'all have better relationships and I'm sure many of us do, but I think there's a lot of us in the same boat here that our wives after a certain period, after the honeymoon is over, they just want to burn their bra and they're not going to do a daggone thing you say. And they're going to give you every excuse to, to where you're not allowed to discipline the kids anymore. It's very possible. I've seen it. Things to think about. Stand firm in your faith. Make sure you still are, uh, have Christ in your heart. You pray every day, pray every night, pray every morning. Um, and, you know etc cetera, etc cetera, and, and get back on the up and up and bring your family with you even if they're kicking and screaming because they hate you they hate god they hate their school they hate their teachers they hate the cops they hate obviously they're full of hate and as a family as a parent it's up to you to help bring them back into the fold of love as we embrace them with love despite how much they may not want your embrace anymore 
and that's really sad and it will pull on your emotions it will pull on your heartstrings it will try to make you fill your head with doubt because then when you start doubting you start going down a different road off your off the path of uh, path to faith in Jesus Christ with that i want to say thanks we'll see you next time